When you stroll through the streets of Vienna, you can find marvelous works of art for free, created by some of the best urban artists around. Welcome to our street art tour, where we will explore some of the most impressive murals in Vienna's 6th district and around the Danube Canal. We'll visit an urban art shop and check out the street art festival, Calle Libre. It's eight stops with a total walking distance of about 45 minutes. Check out the description for more details. Frau Isa is an illustrator, painter, and street artist, and she's made quite a name for herself, both locally and internationally. She is known for her colorful work with a touch of nostalgia. I'm meeting her in her studio in Vienna's 6th district. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. <laughs> so this is where you're working? I guess yes, this time. is where I work and um, like my little studio for my illustration stuff. Vienna, I love the scene in Vienna. It's quite colorful and a lot of young people are starting to do street art because it's very popular right now. The mood is nice, the people are motivated and um, when you compare Vienna to the other cities, it's really uh, up and coming. So much more smaller things I like on street art, like some little funny sticker I see on a sign or a, a really good tag on the door. So it's like really the city that makes street art interesting. This is a little gallery owned by Nitus. He's a colleague of mine, a famous street artist. He's in my collective. And um, here you can go and buy some prints or t-shirts or little souvenirs or stickers. So it's a really nice place to look at street art in a different kind of way. It's just an aesthetic thing to paint a woman, but I, yeah. I really like the, the, the soul or the character. So this is actually one of your collaborative public pieces. This is stunning. Yes, I did this uh, one together with Nitrous, as I mentioned, my colleague, and uh, Rukri, he's also part of my collective. Okay. And um, we did it when the Kalibre Festival was on, and they um, like invited us to do this amazing wall. Okay. It's a really huge one. Speaking of Calle Libra, this is the guy that makes it all happen. Jakob Katna is the founder and the brain behind this amazing festival. His mission? Bringing together contemporary forms of graffiti and other forms of street art onto curated walls throughout the city. I get to join Jakob on an urban art tour. Hi, Adi. Hi. But you founded this festival, you started it, the yeah. Calle Libre, yeah. and it's focused on street art. Yeah, it all started 2014. Okay and it's the festival for urban aesthetics. Okay. So it's all contemporary art forms of street art, graffiti, but also performance, installations, urban interventions, all of that. Right now we get so much positive feedback from the people who live there, like neighbors come up to us and say, oh, thank you to do that. What was a gray wall before, now it's a colorful painting. We try to change the public perception of graffiti and street art. We want to show these are serious contemporary art forms and not just tags, bombings, vandalism. This is one of the first walls. So this is Enivo from Brazil, a guy I met in Sao Paulo. And Stinkfish, who paints those colorful faces. And uh, this is Costos from Venezuela. And he kind of also refers to the political situation right now in his country. So, Calle Libre means free street. We say the street belongs to us, and so we want to claim the street. When you do something like this and it's part of a festival, is it known that when the artist put it up, it's going to stay there? Can people just paint over it? No one's just going to come and like tag on it, basically. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mecca of graffiti right here in the city is the Danube Canal. So you have the Hall of Fame there. If you really want to have lots of graffiti, you just go there. The next one is right over there. Yeah, this painting just was made recently. Um, it's by Peter Phobia, Austrian artist. Uh, he painted it for his girlfriend as a present, <laughs> who lives now in New York City. That's really sweet. I want a present like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Amazing urban art can be found all over the city. Just keep your eyes open and embrace the streets. 